What is up, Cryotics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Then I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till by late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Teclasse Voodoo Custom, which happens to be the first vehicle I ever customized on the channel. And obviously, that video being from 2015, it had no commentary back then, so it was highly suggested by you guys that I go back and recustomize it. Now that also goes for other cars in the game as well, so if I had no commentary at all in an old customization video, I can recustomize that vehicle as well if you guys would like me to. So the regular Voodoo is an OG car that's been in the game since day one, however there were different variants of the Voodoo in GTA Vice City, San Andreas, Vice City Stories, Chinatown Wars, and GTA 4 as well which is pretty much identical to the one they put in GTA 5. Now, the Voodoo Custom variant was introduced with the Lowriders update in October of 2015. Now, the Voodoo can be found on the Benny's website for about $5,000, or of course, you can find it on the street for free. And for those of you who are into those special worn colors, you can definitely find them in the Sandy Shores area and force spawn them using the stacking method, which I talked about in my Tornado Custom video. Now, the regular Voodoo has basically no visual customization, so the Voodoo Custom is definitely the one you want. The Custom Lowrider version cost for it is about $420,000, so, so if you buy that and put all the crazy upgrades in it from Benny's, you're looking at about a million dollars in total, which is definitely pretty expensive. It gets pricey real quick with those Benny's upgrades. But again, that's sort of what you expect from Benny's. Now, in terms of performance, this car is in the muscle car class, obviously not a performance car by any means, and it's one of the slowest in that class as to be expected. Again, it's a low rider. It's not intended for speed. It's intended for styling, customization, and cruising as well. Now, the Voodoo Custom just so happens to be my favorite out of all of Benny's low riders because I just love the styling of it especially the rear end with the flying buttresses. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. But anyways, in terms of what the Voodoo is based on, it's primarily based on the 1960 Chevrolet Impala and the 1964 Impala as well. The Impala is among one of the most legendary cars from the early 60s with a very large following behind them. I can definitely see why. Obviously ignore the modern version, which is just absolute garbage. <laughs> the old one is the one everybody loves. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Benny's Voodoo Custom. What are we doing today? All right, Voodoo Custom. Anything All right, so we got armor, brakes, bumpers. You got sleek chrome bumper, pretty nice. You got the heavy chrome. Hmm, for this one, I mean, I kind of want some color underneath. I think we'll we'll do the uh, the sleek chrome bumper. But isn't the stock one lower? Yeah, the stock one is low. That's kind of funny. But I mean, I guess it kind of gives some. You know what? We'll, we'll do the heavy chrome. Might as well. I mean, that kind of fits the look of this car. Life Plus, our back one has kind of a similar design, so kind of make that match. All right, chassis, arch covers, different arch covers there for those of you who like those. I personally don't like arch covers too much. I mean, it really just depends on the car. Um, this one, I don't really like the way it looks, so we're not going to do that. Uh, aerials, you got all the different antennas. For those of you who want to put crazy antennas on your car, you can do that. <laughs> trim color. Oh, actually, no, this is trim, actual trim back here. Okay. bunch of random colors. Okay. So there's no secondary or primary. That would have been a nice option for this secondary or primary, but unfortunately, that's all we got there. And there's no simple white or black. I'm not sure why. There's only these crazy rainbow-looking <laughs> colors. Okay. Gas tank. Got stock down there, which I, I can't tell what it is. It's really pushed in there. Um, secondary, chrome, and then livery. You know, I think we'll do chrome. Might as well do chrome hey. gas tank. Bodywork, curb feelers, okay, 
Got engine, engine block. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you definitely want to pick one of these because then you get that really nice detailed engine bay. looks a lot cleaner with better texture quality. Uh, chrome and painted. I don't have painted ribbed? Oh, that's the first one. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the... You know what? I think maybe without the ribbed. We'll do the uh, painted... Painted livery, I guess? Okay. Air filters. We'll do the twin. Okay. Engine tunes, almost forgot that. Exhaust. Oh yes, exhaust, it actually comes out the back. Yes, I love it. You got the twin shotgun, I think that's a bit overkill for this thing, quad exhaust. I think the twin is perfect. Grill, different grills too, okay. Chrome bars. I'm not a fan of it covering the headlights. <laughs> and the chrome teeth, I don't like that either. Chrome bars for sure. Uh, hydraulics, you got the chrome pump, quad pumps, quad pumps, and then the V pattern. Um, I guess I guess we'll do that. Interior trim, trim design. Got the luxury velour. And you got all the different crazy, <laughs> different ones here, all the usual Benny stuff. Um, and of course, both of these versions get rid of the bench seat, which the bench seat is stock. Um, you lose that when you go to uh, one of these, which I mean, it's not bad. You still got like the cool center console and stuff. So I think I'm gonna do the leather striped. Very nice. Do that. that. Love it. Trim color. Um, I don't want to mess around with that. We'll leave that for when we go to the respray because this option is also there. So we'll we'll leave that until then. Uh, ornaments. All different ornaments you guys have here if you want to do one of those. Um, yeah. So there. Dials. No oh, look at that. Plain Jane, negative. Hmm. I really like the, the white face. That looks really good. Plain Jane with the black letters. That is nice. I think we'll do that. Nice Steering wheels. The stock steering wheel is pretty nice with the Class A logo, but the texture quality is not too great. Um, these definitely look a bit nicer. Um, I think I'll do... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll do this one right here. Perfect. Kind of like suits the era of the car. Column shifter. Now, there's already a center console there with a shifter, I believe. Can't really see it too well here. See? It's not there? Oh, yeah, there's no center console option. Oh, okay. I guess it removes it when you go to the... Because I know the bench seat had a center console, a stock one had a uh, uh, shifter in the center console, but this one doesn't. Okay, so I guess this option kind of makes sense for one of these. I guess we'll do a lucky dice. Uh, plaques. For those of you who like those. A lot of different plaques there. Light color. Yeah, I'm definitely going to leave the white face. I think that looks great. You know what? Maybe, see? Maybe, no, nah, that's a bit too much. Yeah, the white face with the black letters, I think it's perfect. Uh, lights, headlights, and we're not going to put xenons, leave the classic yellows. We got all the different liveries here. Pretty much pinstripe liveries for the most part. We got the, whoa, that's that's a bit crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Wow, okay, so I'm not going to be putting any of those. I want more like a cleaner look. Um, something that would have... I guess those side options match you if you decide. choose a livery, the little the trim on the back. I guess that's what that's for. But we're not putting any of those. License plate, plate holder. Oh, the low and slow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, low and slow. We gotta do that one. But I'll show you guys the other one so you can see typical kind of Benny's plate frames there. The low and slow. It's perfect for this car. It is not fast by any means. <laughs> And you got all the different front plates, and obviously if you don't choose one of these, then you're stuck with the uh, normal plate. I kind of like doing a vanity plate for the front. Um, I think we might do with the Class A logoed one. Yeah, we'll do that. Obviously, it's the Class A Voodoo. It's the plate. And then our actual custom plate. Plate. I don't really have a custom one for this. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it kind of works because in the the Fast Eight movie, Dom had the Red Impala family. I guess it works. Okay, we got that. Uh, do we do? I think the white background is fine. Respray. Okay, so we're gonna do. I mean, it's 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 pretty obvious. I mean, there's something about a red Impala. It just looks so so good. So we're gonna do the metallic Torino red. And it already has a nice Torino red pro on there. We're gonna keep that. Uh, secondary color. So secondary color is interior stuff. Let's see here on the AC vents. Tremor on the gauge bezels. Door panel. And a lot of trim on the seats. And then the trim color is the headliner. Sun visors. Some on the door. The more higher part of it. Interesting. And seats. Hmm. Okay, I think. So, I mean, we already have that red there. I think we'll do the the white headliner. I like that. Ice white headliner. And then we have the secondary is already like a black. Yeah. And if we put more white or red, I think it's just overkill. It's like the black there works perfectly. Um, we'll just make it regular black, I guess. Almost as good as you. Okay. Not bad. I like that. Very nice. So it's not too much red. It's not too much... I think it's just perfect a balance of everything. Your equivalent for this car goes on the side of the doors. Transmission. A good driver needs a good gear box. Speaker box shelves. I guess for those of you who want to put that... I mean, this thing... You can't unsee the fact that it's a lowrider. I mean, it's pretty, like, in-your-face lowrider. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, these upgrades are kind of concealed. I think they kind of work, you know. Like, from far away, you think it's not, you know, a fully custom crazy car. But then you open all the doors and stuff, and then you have these crazy custom options. I think we'll do the, the neon shelf. Why not? Turbo. Wheels. So, for this... Let's see here. I think we're going to go to the lowrider category. We're going to go chrome. Um, hmm. Let me put the... I'm thinking of the turbines for this. I don't know. It kind of like works with like the look of this car. But I think the turbines really look good on this. Uh, the super fins also nice as well. But I feel like the turbines are a bit cleaner. I think we're going to do that. Um, now I was going to pull white walls. But I don't know. I think it just looks weird on this car. I think it's just too much. I don't think it looks right. So we're not going to do that. We're continuing here, windows. Can we black them out? I mean, I don't want to hide that interior completely. I think just a light smoke, I think, is fine. Um, just I don't want to hide it too much. I think light smoke is fine. Girl is good. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, light smoke is fine, okay. Alright, tons and tons of options, usual bennies. No, no hood upgrades, sadly. I was kind of expecting that. Um... I don't know, I would have liked more visual parts for the car, like, there was no rear bumper, there was front bumpers, no rear bumpers, no hood, um, I don't know, maybe like a, something like a spoiler, I mean, the back end of this car is perfect, I wouldn't change it, but maybe like a, I don't know, I think Rockstar could have came up with something in terms of uh, extra visual stuff, but I mean, I think this is plenty, plenty, plenty for this car, and the side there is chrome, yeah, alright, let's take it for a drive, exit to ground, looks so so cool as I talked about earlier it's literally like my favorite low rider I just love the design it's just super super nice all right let's rev it here sounds very good first person the white face gauge it looks so perfect I love it all right let's floor it wheel spin wheel spin up oh, there it goes low and slow we're floored we're floored right now <laughs> Still very it's nice and slow. This is the ultimate cruiser. <laughs> so wide too. Very big car. I love it. Let's mess around with the hydraulics a little bit. Let's go up. <laughs> yeah, we're riding higher up. Down. Riding low again. Mid-drive this thing? Yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Brakes, and I think the reverse lights are the lights at the bottom. Yep. First person. 
pretty nice. It's not bad at all. I mean, as as you would expect from you know, a lowrider from Benny's, one of the OG lowriders. I just I really like these. They're very very cool. All right, let's pull over here, open all the doors and stuff. I guess we we'll just park over here. All right. Valet parking, not anymore. Okay, vehicle doors. Oh, wow! Look at that. So the valve covers matched. Maybe it's a bit too much red. I think the chrome valve covers will look a bit better. Uh, interior, I think, came out perfect. Wow! Look at that. And then the white also links to the, uh, I guess, the floor pan or the floor mats or floor carpet for that section. I, I think they're mats for that section. They're like all white. That is very, very nice. Wow, perfect balance. Got the speakers back there with the neon. The red on the steering wheel, lucky dice. This came out very, very nice. I really like this. And for the money, I mean, yeah, these are pretty expensive. I mean, all in upgraded, we probably have about a million dollars on this thing. So, <laughs> definitely not cheap. Um, so, I mean, if you can get them on sale, obviously that's the better way to do it. The kind of Benny's upgrade fee on sale. They had a sale um, a few weeks ago where they put Benny's uh, sales on these cars back to back for a while. Uh, but that's all gone currently at the time I'm recording this. So maybe it will come back. Um, but until then, I would probably hold off because, I mean, really got to think twice before you spend a million dollars on something like this. Yes, it's fun to customize and look at and everything, but it's still pricey. And I almost forgot this thing is in the muscle car class, so technically it should do a wheelie, but it's so underpowered I doubt it, but let's try either way. Oh! Oh, it does it for like a foot. <laughs> it actually, it actually does it. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want me to customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.